load here. Let's go back to the drip. We brought way too many tools, but whatever. Watch, we brought all these tools and uh, we'll still be missing something. Yeah, probably do it without it, but no, fuck it, get off. Cause like, you're gonna be reaching in there and you're gonna be doing this. Yeah. yeah. I have little wrenches. We'll have to be able yeah. to get it off with that. Yeah. Okay, first step, we gotta take this off and we're already kind of euchred cause those bolts are in there, but we'll get them out. Yeah, we got that going for us, Mike. Dean said, I said, how long does this job take? He said a half an hour. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Half an hour. hour. Half an hour. Yeah, I'd be, I think you'd be lucky to have all this stuff off in a half an hour. Yeah. Let alone have everything done. Yeah. Like, come on, man. If you're gonna lie to me, make your lies reasonable. Update video batteries completely dead for some reason cool so we got that these bolts are actually impossible they're they're bottomed out you can't get this plate off right now so we have to somehow get this arm up so we're gonna have to release the pressure and i have to go home and get a big jack to try to jack it up so yeah so jack bunch of wood yeah um, can you guys think of anything else? I'll put the battery on charge. Battery on charge. And uh, yeah, this thing's a piece of crap. <laughs> well, this is where we're at so far. So, airbox out. What do we have everything out? Exhaust is out. Uh, we're just trying to get this plate off right now because it'll make it easier. And then, this is where the hydraulic coupler is. It's right in there. But not much room in here. And all the pressure's on it. It's all pressed down, eh? Yeah. That's how it is. I don't think so, though. No. Okay, you should be able to get those off now. Uh, yeah. Like a little higher, or is that good? I would go a little higher. Then we can get right in there with our fingers. That's probably good, Brandon. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so to get the arm up here, we release the pressure off of right here. I was hoping I could just spin around. And we are able to get the attachment off. And we use like some leverage the there. and then got the jack underneath it, lift it up. Now we can get this front plate off. I brought this Allen key set too. Oh, you got it, Allen? Yeah. Oh. So I did bring this oh, bigger. and it's got the round so that, you know, that could help too in certain spots. I think probably for those ones. There you go, now you fucking see. We can see, see that's in there. it. That's what, that's what we want, right there. Make it a little easier, eh? Or a lot easier. Be nice to have a ratcheting one right now, eh? Yeah. You can't get any room to make any kind of headway here. No. Or if I do it a bit, if I get more room going down. There we go. Not going all the way. Yeah, and you wouldn't even be able to get, like I brought my uh, my Allen sockets, but. They would help on the they other. They would help. On the other, uh, on the other on ones. On the bigger ones, yeah. But not, yeah, look what he's doing. Yeah, because you can't get in there. That's too much. What about in, bet in between? You can't. Is that turning? You can't see. Yeah, it's yeah, that's turning. Yeah. Not well. For the yellow one. So we had to take this hydraulic line off here. Did you say that was yellow? 
goes to here because it just holds it too tight. You can't twist it. So we got that out. Um, obviously this lines off. So that's where we're at right now. Got a strap here, shackle there, hold the engine up. So we're gonna have to release the, the motor mounts down here. So that's next. Should I jump the gun and go grab the part yet? Dude, that's like bad, <laughs> bad omen. That bad, is bad omen. Bad dude. mojo. So, every one of these, what size was it? Seven? Six. Six. No. Six, uh, six mil hex. hex. And then these ones, the middle one in the bottom that you can't see is a torque. All that frayed shit around it. I think, think that's all the burnt plastic, plastic got, got from the stripped from the. So the teeth, teeth that there's teeth inside of this, yeah. and there's pl what? So the it, what's the new one made out of? Steel. Okay. No, the whole thing's not steel, but, but, it's, but it's a uh, thicker wedge. It's got different keyways to hold it in. Okay. Is yeah. Metal? So like they're, you'll see the difference okay, when we pull this one out. Ones. All right, guys, we got the part out. You can definitely see it failed. So this part, you shouldn't be able to spin like that, like that. All these little teeth are supposed to fit in that plastic. I would take the snap ring off here, but I don't really care. You, you can kind of see what's going on there. Look at this one, this is the new one. Totally different design, looks way beefier. I mean, this is a bad design. So now, you can't turn it, right? That middle part gets fixed to the motor and then spins the whole thing. Whereas uh, this one, I, I think I was losing pressure on my hydraulics for a while because it was starting to slip. But now, you know, once it's like that, it's not catching anything. I can move it so freely. But anyways, that's the part. This is garbage. Yeah, a little bit of scrap metal here. All right, we took the snap ring off just to show you guys what's going on here. So this part right here, the plastic part should have teeth on it fried and uh yeah so that's johnny demonstrating that's 26 hours that's johnny demonstrating yep johnny demonstrating <laughs> mike johnny brandon so that's the hydraulic coupler mike's putting it on right now how many bolts was that mike four five five five, five, yeah. five bolts yeah, five. Mike says monkey see monkey do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Generally how it works, eh? I think the hardest part is going to be getting that plate back on. But me and Johnny can try to wiggle around while you try to wiggle it in there, I guess. Plate's back on. Now the, the housing. Where did I do it? Yeah, it's almost in on this one. Oh, there we go. There. What is it on on the bottom? Oh, who knows? I think so. So these first two, no nut, nut, and then there's a nut on that one over there? No. Nope. No, down, down. Yeah, there. but that At one, least. that's a nut, that's a backing, and then the next one is a nut. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I can We're going to let you do that, John. He's to be tight now. Uh, they're all in? Put some grease on this to hopefully slide right in. All right, so we... Had a strap on here just to get it out of the way so that we could get this housing off. Now we're releasing that. The only hydraulic line that we had to remove, it was just too well, tight. And, and the main feed. Oh yeah, and the main feed right here. So two two lines off of it. Didn't lose much fluid at all. So now we're gonna slide the pumps into the Spoon. engine here. Mm -hmm. Now we're coming over. Oh, it should go in easy. It should go in really easy. There we go. She slid she's in. in. She's in. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So for these two bolts that hold this onto the housing here on the, of the engine, we're using the Allen keys that it came with um, because they have the rounded head. But it's very awkward and you have to just do a little spin at a time, as you can see Johnny's doing. Alright, we're putting the motor mount bolts in now. There's three on that side, three on this side. They had to come out because they're holding the housing. They came out pretty easy. Um, make sure you put a strap here to hold the motor or it'll sag. 
Okay, so to get the motor uh, mount bolts in easier, kind of just grab by here and just kind of give it a wiggle up and down and get her in. So we got them all in, just gonna snug them up, get them tight, and then on to the next. All right, we're just putting this hose back on. Goes over here. Next one will be right here. We just set that aside up here. Okay, we got all the hydraulic lines back on. Now we're taking this motor mount strap that we held the motor up with off. The plate. The battery exhaust plate. The exhaust and battery plate is next to go on. So we will see how that goes. All right, we got everything we think hooked up here. Let's see if it works. All right, here we go, let's see. Oh yeah. Back her up. There's so many of them. Hell yeah, it works. Bad, Mike. NASCAR fast. NASCAR I don't know. Fast. I don't know if you make the NASCAR team, but hey guys. So I'm back. The machine's home. Uh, thankful. I mean, it's been almost a month. I think I'm not even sure. But uh, yeah, if you guys uh, have the hydraulic coupler go on you, um, it is a big job. It took us five hours, and uh, it's just a lot of awkward spots. I mean, if you're a mechanic, you're used to that. Uh, I'm not a mechanic, I'm a tree guy, but you know, I like fixing stuff. It's just, uh, yeah, you, you need to just take your time and you need a lot of tools. Like when Dean said you just need the little toolbox, that's, that's a total lie because you, you're, not, you're not doing that job with that little toolbox. Um, but yeah, got her back, got her home, and I'm super happy, I'm super hot and tired, I'm sweating so bad. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, it's back in action because uh, I do have some jobs that I've been waiting to do to get this back. So I'm glad that this is back and, you know, I hope that this video helps somebody out. I tried my best to, to get footage uh, as much as I could, but uh, today, like I said, was just crazy hot. We were all sweating and uh, I tried to have the camera on as much as possible, but I hope it helps someone. If not, I tried. Um, but yeah, I'll start it up and show you the movements and everything's good now. So yeah, there it is. It uh, works. I'm happy. Uh, I hope it doesn't fail again. Like I said, the part that they they sent me looks a lot better than the one that uh, you'll see in this video that we took out. That thing was completely stripped. Uh, it makes sense why I, I was getting no hydraulic pressure at all because it would spin freely like a bearing almost. So yeah, guys, just want to say thank you uh, so much for watching. Uh, we're very, very close to that thousand mark. I know I've been saying that for a while, but I believe we're like 30 subscribers away. So if this video helped you out or if you just enjoy watching these videos, uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I did order a laptop, so hopefully, and I'm not like very good on computers and stuff like that, but I'm gonna in the future try to see if editing on the computer is a little bit easier because on the phone it's a nightmare. So yeah, we got that to look forward to and maybe I'll be more inclined to make videos because as is right now, you get a bunch of footage and doing it on your phone is terrible. So, catch you guys on the next one. Uh, thanks a lot. Peace.